tracking cool temperatures tonight, but not quite as chilly as last night as we're dropping down into the 40s to start off our Wednesday morning. We'll have mostly clear skies, meaning sunshine to start off the day with clouds starting to roll in towards tomorrow afternoon. Still going to be a mild day though as temperatures top out in the 60s. A cold front though starts to move in by tomorrow afternoon and evening. That's going to drop us down into the 30s heading into Thursday morning. Thursday is significantly cooler. We'll still be well above freezing, but we're only making it up to about 50 degrees before rain starts to move in. Here's that warm front that we've been tracking throughout most of the day. This is, has, has kept most areas south of I-70 in the 70s today and points north are a little bit cooler than that. But as that slides to the north, we will be tracking a little bit warmer temperatures to head into tomorrow. Count on plenty of sunshine to start off the day. Cloud cover starts to move in towards late afternoon as our cold front arrives. That'll keep us cooler in most spots than where we landed this afternoon, but still mild with above average temperatures. As we get into Wednesday night, cloud cover should take over the entire area, but it's chillier as we wake up in the 30s on Thursday morning morning. By Thursday afternoon, showers start to move in with our next low pressure system and become more widespread through Thursday night. Temperatures look to stay above freezing for all of Thursday evening, but by Friday morning, areas off to the north could fall to near that freezing mark and we could see a changeover to a rain snow mix, especially for our northern counties into early Friday morning. At this point, the farther north the track of this low pressure system goes, the better chance we'll have of seeing mainly rain across a lot of our area. And speaking of rain, we're going to end up with around one to two and a half inches of liquid precipitation with this storm system. The highest amounts are going to be across southern Missouri, where we likely will not see as much snowfall, and we will likely be watching for some flooding risk across parts of southeast Missouri into Friday night. Here's what the snow tracker could look like on Friday morning. Keep in mind this will likely change a bit as we get closer to the event as our low pressure system tracks into the region. At least a dusting across parts of mid-Missouri. The higher amounts look to stay just off to our north and west at this point, so that means we could have some slushy conditions, especially on grassy surfaces. Not a huge impact at this point, but it's something we're going to keep a close eye on. It does look to clear out by late Friday afternoon into the evening, leaving us drier for the weekend, getting back into the upper 40s to around 50 degrees by Saturday. Sunday's even warmer as we climb back into the 50s with more sunshine. So it's going to be a nice one to get outside. Here's my seven day forecast. This is what I'm tracking for the rest of the week, a cool down with a cold front on Thursday. But then by Thursday afternoon evening, rain becomes more widespread. We'll have a chance of that turning over over to some snowfall early on Friday, clearing out by Friday afternoon, leaving us with temperatures in the low 40s. It's dry for the weekend, then we start to warm up by Sunday into Monday.